But holy crap, these guys know what they're doing. Ugh, my arm is going to break. That's definitely going to happen. I got that summertime. What's up guys, this is Vistro, welcome back to another HE gameplay. And basically I'm going to be playing as a really really old kit that uh, not a lot of players go uh, anymore. But that kit is Viper, and uh, yeah, not, uh, so many people don't use this kit anymore. I mean, I remember back in the day uh, when HG like, uh, it was more around like kit based, where I mean, uh, BBH is trying to uh, get HG back into the get that kit based system. Well, um, back in H um, HG a really long time ago, uh, everybody used to go Viper simply because it does more damage. That's it. I mean, that poison effect, uh, those extra half hearts that it does, you know, with poison, can really help you out. So yeah, that's the reason why everybody went it back in the day. But now everybody's uh, really good at PvP. They know how to soup, and nobody really goes Viper anymore. But then again, Viper uh, can't be a really good kit. Um, just giving people poison while they're running, it can slow them down and get you those extra hits to kill them and other stuff like that. Not really uh, useful in traps and stuff. I mean, obviously you do more damage to the trappers, but uh, if uh, if you can't hit them, it's kind of hard to do that. But um, we have our mushrooms, a ton of mushrooms. I mean, uh, thir almost 30 of each. That's actually really good uh, these days now. I mean, uh, BBH did l lower down the uh, spawn, the mushroom spawn. Uh, in swamps, so it kind of sucks, but uh, then again, I can understand why he's doing it, so uh, I don't really mind. So, alright, so uh, we've got pretty much a half tab. It's not ba that bad, but saying this is a live commentary, I do want to get this nice and short, so yeah, it's just me, basically me just commentating over the entire thing and hopefully not uh, fucking up, so alright, so let's go ahead and make our stone sword. And let's get our goods. Is is that glitched or okay? That works. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and toss this out and pick up these mushrooms because uh, I might actually need these in the near for future. All right, so let's get this out. So Viper, I really like this kit uh, simply because uh, it doesn't give you any like uh, kit items. So uh, basically, uh, you can just um. Even if you die and you respawn, I mean I am pro, but uh, if you respawn, you still like you won't have to lose your kit or anything. It's I mean it's built in to you, so it's a pretty awesome kit. And uh, also it gives you that one extra stupid advantage, which uh, back in the day um, it really mattered. So <laughs> all right, so uh, we need to find a player to uh, track because we've been literally just been uh, going around in circles. So, I'm not, we're back where we just started. What? I'm just going around in circles now. What is this? Okay, we might be tracking a team of two. My compass just did a 360. So, uh, I was like, what? And it did it again. Okay, so they must be really close by or something. Because, otherwise, why wouldn't my compass be doing this? And there he is right there. Okay, we finally found him. Let's go and give him a smacker. He actually could have hit me into the ravine, which was really scary. Alright, let's actually get out of here. Get this wood. And awesome. Okay, so let's throw this stuff out. We don't need this. He had a ton of mushrooms. And boom. Alright, so we got ourselves good on the bowl and soup department. Awesome. Okay, so, uh, alright, there's my compasses, and let's continue tracking this Bosco dude. That guy was the uh, person that they were alternating, so obviously they weren't a team. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Solo players are fun to kill too. So, that crossfire guy probably took out a 3v1, meaning uh, he probably is uh, either low on soup or uh, plentiful in soup. So, ooh. MLG's a fire apple eating habit thingy. Ooh, there are two apples here. Perfect. Just enough to fill up my hot bar, my health bar. All right. So we're still tracking this Bosco that guy. That guy was uh, back there before, so I'm not sure what my compass is doing. So maybe he's on drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. It's not good for you. All right. So now we're tracking different guys. So Bosco must be really close by. So I should be seeing his name tag soon, but. 
Meh, he could be some kind of a shapeshifter or something. Oh, there's a guy right there. All right, and there's also a guy right here. He's punching wood, so I will take him out. Oh, that's Bosco. Hello. Ooh, he knows what he's doing. He quickly souped. I thought I could get the uh, surprise on him, which I obviously did, but he uh, managed to, uh, you know, get back in the game really well. All right, good fight. Uh, his friend probably left him to just die, so uh, it kind of sucks for him. And let's take his stone axe. And I don't think I need anything else from here. Okay, so uh, we're going to track his friend, that UP guy. He probably towered. Yep. But it doesn't matter. I have uh, I have some wood, so I'll be good. Alright, so I'm not sure what this guy's kit is, but if he was Stomper, he kind of lost his chance. Alright, let's hit him. Alright, good fight. Oh, he is the Thor kit. Alright, good fight, mate. So, let's just throw out that. Uh, let's put our sword, extra sword here. And let's actually do that. Fill up our hunger bar. And we are set. Okay, let's keep on going. Our JG. We're going to find him and kill him. Now, hopefully he's not going to be like those other players. Where it just takes me forever to track them, so... Alright, two eggs. That'll help us with some towers. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're still tracking this guy, and he is probably in that tower. No, he's not. My compass isn't pointing directly towards him, but it is. I'm pointing directly at that. Whoa. Are they doing a trap or not? Oh, there he is. Oh. He could uh, mage me down right now, but I'd say we just dig straight down to him. I mean, we have ourselves an axe, so it'll all be good. Unless he's in a ravine, that would suck. So. Alright, let's start digging down to him. Hopefully he's not in a ravine or something, which uh, has happened to me multiple times now. So. <laughs> Alright, so he started shifting, so either he knows that I'm coming, or... I don't know. Let's make sure that nobody's above us. Alright, so there he is, down there. He moved from his original position, so he's most likely in a cave. So, that's just something to keep in mind. I have some wood, so just in case this pickaxe breaks. He is moving around just a tiny bit. So he could be in an enclosed area, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's probably looking into furnaces and grabbing his iron, for what I know. Unless he's really lagging. Alright, so I hear some skeletons. Which means I should be pretty close to the uh, cave system now. So I should be uh, encountering it soon, I hope. I can, uh, my pickaxe is about to break. So. Huh. Where could his cave be? Let's actually start digging towards him then. Before our pickaxe breaks. Alright. He's probably a strip mining or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised if he was doing that. A bunch of new players uh, do that all the time. I mean, I did it, too, when I first started playing. Oh, he's going up a staircase. So, yeah, he probably uh, started strip mining. All right. We are close to him, and our pickaxe is about to break just now. All right. That sucks. Let's craft ourselves a new one. Doesn't really matter, but he now knows our location, so uh, that's a downy for us. Oh, did he just... Okay. I thought he died. That was suck. Alright, so. He's still right there. This is taking forever to get towards him. Huh. Alright, so. We got his, his little cave. And there he is. Good fight. He was actually a seeker. I'm not sure if that's a free kit right now. But, ooh. Ooh. Wow. He was the seeker kit, so he was mining for iron. That's why his, uh thing was so weird all right so uh let's go ahead and grab his uh stuff get his iron 53 iron holy crap what are you going to do with that young man all right let's make all these furnaces and smelt all this yes my god that is a lot of iron ladies and gentlemen holy crap i have no idea what he was planning to do with that probably something really evil or something but a seeker with that much iron? Like, dude, what are you thinking? <laughs> Alright, let's throw out all this stuff that we don't need. Uh, we don't need that extra wood. And let's get ourselves eight open slots. 
and let's go ahead and do this do that and awesome it starts smelting now if someone jumps in my hole right now I would be dead I don't have any soups in my hotbar right now but it's the uh, price you gotta pay to get this stuff smelted really fast alright obviously I am not the best at this so let's go ahead and start smelting with some logs and we'll just uh, smelt all this stuff individually I guess uh, do that 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 alright close enough let's grab our uh, soups back and uh, they're obviously right here so yeah, I'm just gonna start smelting this stuff and get some full iron Then I'll be set to uh, you know win the hardcore games obviously don't want to get too cocky because uh, cockiness can uh, eventually kill you <laughs> happened to me multiple times all right so someone's digging towards us we need to start uh, getting this stuff let's make some iron armor grab one from a piece of iron get ourselves some pants all right Ugh. this is the guy that won that 3v1 let's hold shift now and crit all right good fight holding shift is something that I learned a really long time ago when you're near uh, st things like this you should always hold shift just in case you right click one of these because uh, if you do right click them it could be your death so yeah always keep that in mind all right, so I have a ton of iron. Holy crap. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing with all of this. I might as well just make some iron blocks and make a, a, a giant penis out of it. For what I know. All right. So this crossfire dude did have some soup, which I will take. I'm now two levels, level two. And with 35 extra iron, I will go ahead and make myself the goods. There's our helmet, and there's our boots. All right, perfect. So let's just grab this extra iron. I don't want anybody else to have it. And uh, look at that, a convenient hole. Let's go ahead and go up it and uh, continue our hunt with how many players? Six players remaining. So it looks like I have this uh, gameplay in the bag now. I mean, obviously, I had the advantage when that crossfire dude was mining towards me. And uh, that stomper has an iron sword, so that's interesting. And I don't know why there's this loot pile here, but ooh. There's a guy right there. Well then. Is he going to see me or not? Nah? What? I think he's a chameleon. It's most likely a chameleon. Holy crap. He has a diamond sword. Oh my god. Oh, he's the rhino kid. That's why he was making those sounds. Alright, good fight. And let's just make sure nobody is here. All right, we got his diamond sword. That is awesome. All right. Oh, we had a diamond shovel too. Yes. Screw diamond swords. Diamond shovels are boss. <laughs> All right. So we got ourselves 27. Holy crap. How many potions did he have? Yes. Screw fucking swords. I'm just saying, just in case you guys didn't know this, uh... Uh, diamond shovels actually do the same amount of damage as a uh, wood sword. So we're actually going to be PvPing with this because Yola Swaggington, that's why. Alright. Let's organize our inventory. We don't need these extra blocks. And 27 iron. I have no use for it, but let's keep it just in case our, uh, we uh, get into some kind of action packed uh, fight. So we're tracking this Mark guy, and uh, we have ourselves an op diamond shovel, and we're going to kill him with it, unless he's in some kind of op trap. Then we'll just kill him with that, with a sword. I don't feel like dealing with traps, even though they are OP, so smack. All right, so we're still tracking this Mark dude. I'm not sure what he's been doing all game. Has he been getting any kills? No, it doesn't really look like he's been uh, hunting in, in chat, so... All right, we have a stack of each mushroom. We have no need to do all that. So, all right. So, still tracking this guy. He's probably at the edge of the map, for what I know. And there's a whole bunch of mobs here. It's scary. I should actually make some buckets right now. <laughs> oh, he's behind us. What? I'm not sure what he is doing. Oh, there he is. Let's get our diamond sword out, cause fuck teams. That's why. Get ourselves a poison pot. 
Let's take out these skeletons, see if we can get ourselves a bow. Uh, got some arrows. Uh, don't feel like it. Alright, let's go ahead and eat these carrots and prepare our 1v1, well, 2v1, with this. That creeper might actually get in our way, so let's take him out too. <clears throat> Good fight. Alright, so let's go down and uh, start to take him out. Let's throw this poison pot. Got them poisoned. Alright, let's go down. <clears throat> Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. They both have full iron, so... But I have the diamond sword and the poison pots, so I do have a little bit of an advantage towards them. <sighs> I'm literally just blocking throughout this entire fight. But ooh, they know what they're doing. Ooh, one of them's a stomper. I'm giving a little bit of right, a crit right there. Alright, I am running really low on stew, so I should probably run back a little. Get a poison pot in our inventory and recraft. Hashtag schmocky recraft right there, JK. That was a horrible recraft. Oh, got myself. That sucked. Oh, well. But holy crap, these guys know what they're doing. Ugh, my arm is going to break. That's definitely going to happen. Now, I need these guys to hit each other. That's what I need them to do. Alright, I took one of them out. But holy crap, he had a whole bunch of crap that I did not want. And uh, let's use our uh, another poison pot on him. Good fight. Now he has to die. He he knows he's done. Come on, dude. Just yes. All right. Good fight. Holy crap! You guys put up an awesome fight. Good job, guys. All right. <sighs> Not even gonna lie. That was pretty. Uh, that's pretty intense. Okay. So those poison pots really did help. And now my armor is like destroyed so let's go ahead and repair this stuff and hopefully nobody's going to jump in our hole anytime soon while i'm repairing this obviously i could just make a new set with my iron that i have right now and that's what i was hoping for but looks like we're not going to do that because we have ourselves one player left to kill so let's throw out all this stuff that we don't need now uh shears i don't see why i need that 27 iron will still keep just in case you have one of those moments when you need something when you don't have it. Alright. Alright, so let's uh, get out of here now. Ooh, gold. This isn't hardcore, so... Oh, oh my god. Alright, so let's try to find the nearest exit. And uh, let's just keep going up. That's what, I'm, that's what my plan is right now. Holy crap, that was horrible. The pro parkour skills right here, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so we're slowly getting our Y level back. And now we're going down. Ooh, some light. Alright. I think this, yeah, this is where uh, the I dropped down. So. Alright. Let's keep on going. Eight kills. Uh, that means this last guy is going to be our ninth kill. But that's according to the 5 Zig mod. It could be wrong, for what I know. But, um, yeah. Uh, As Derpe. Asodor Derpe. Well, I'm pretty confident right now. I don't even need the feast. I got myself the diamond sword, and that's all I really need. But what I don't get is that if that guy really did win the mini feast, why didn't he take the enchantment table? That'd be nice to have. Unless uh, he dropped his enchantment table, and I just forgot. And he's right there. Cool. So I'm not sure what kid he is, and I don't feel like dying. So he obviously sees me, and he knows I'm in full iron. And I know he's in full iron just by looking at him. So let's get a couple of uh, items so I can use right now. I'm not sure what kid he is. He's probably Stomper for what I know. But let's get some buckets of lava. If we can find some buckets of water, that'd be nice. That'd be really helpful. Oh, there's a water pool right here. Perfect. Let's throw that down there. Actually, let's get ourselves two. Uh -huh. He asked if I'm BR. No, no, sir. I am not BR. I cry. Okay, so let's go ahead and start towering, I guess. If he jumps down, he jumps down. And, uh, yeah. Alright, let's start uh, towering up now. We do have those three eggs that we can use to hit him. So let's just tower at a pretty good height and throw down some water. Ooh, he's standing at a very dangerous edge right now. Swag. Damn it. <laughs> oh, that was, that was a fail. Let's keep on placing this water. 
every so often. <laughs> he knows that I have eggs. And he's uh, taking some precautions just because of it. So uh, he's smart. That's good for him. Not really the best for me. All right, let's get some more blocks. I'm starting to run low. That sucks. All right. If I had a bow right now, that'd be awesome. Let's throw an egg. Damn it. All right, we have ourselves one more chance left. If I don't get this, then I'm just going to have to PvP him. <laughs> All right, can we go any higher, though? Or not? Yes, we can actually get above him. All right, so this is the uh, build hint limit. If he had projectiles, he could just hit me off right now. That wasn't a DDoS threat. He says go. Oh, I'm not sure what he's doing. But let's conserve our blocks and get some slabs. And uh, do want to conserve some of these blocks. And it says the height limit is that. So let's go ahead, go to the side, get some more blocks. 18 slabs, that should be enough. I do want to be very careful with this. A few moments later. Let's throw some poison at him. Lol. Alright, so we have ourselves the initial thing. So let's go ahead and go. <coughs> He's done. What? So obviously we know he's Stomper now. And uh, let's go ahead and go down. He's obviously going to start running. So I need to do this as fast as possible. Alright, let's keep on going on the run now. He's going to most likely try the tower again. But there he is right there. And I need to take him out. He's, he's not going towards feet, so that's good. And the poison is to, uh, taking the effect. So if I can just hit him a couple of times, that'd be awesome. Alright, so we're going to have a fight of our life. Well, he is. Whoa! That'd be weird if he hit Woods to have some PvP hacks right now. But that'd also be pretty cool to kill a hacker in this game. Alright, so... He's putting up a pretty good fight. Not even gonna lie. Okay, so you're gonna die or not? Nah? Come on, bro. Feel the poison. Feel the wrath of my viper's tongue. Oh. Holy crap. That was a horrible refill. And that was a horrible refill too. Let's recraft right now. Get our inventory sorted. Because obviously he knows what he's doing. <sighs> he's just uh, looking right there. And I'm just probably configuring his hacks. <gasps> Stump some lava on him. Holy crap, getting some soup lag. That is not good. <sighs> Wow, he is putting up a huge, good fight. Wow, my god. He really knows what he's doing. Pick up some lava right now. We need to take this guy out. Uh, uh, let's play some lava right there. Is he going to run into it? Yes. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Oh, he burned to death. Good fight. Holy crap. I did not expect that. If only I got one more hit on them. But I did get the kill for that. But um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much the gameplay. A Viber gameplay with uh, 8 kills according to uh, 5 Zigmod. But um, obviously we know we got more than that. So um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. And uh, if you did enjoy, please be sure to hit that like button. And uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and uh, peace out.